Free Code Camp doing JavaScript algorithms and data structures. We're in the regular expressions course on challenge 10 of 33. So today we're going to match numbers and letters of the alphabet. So in the previous lesson, we learned how to use the hyphen to match a range of characters of the alphabet. So A through E, I think is what we used, but we can match A through Z, so forth, whatever. This also works for ranges of numbers. So the hyphen can be used in the same the same way we did with letters. Uh, so forward slash, forward slash, and between them, square bracket, 0 through 5. So this will match any number, 0 through 5, including 0 and 5. So inclusive, not exclusive. Um, it will also, it is also possible to combine a range of letters and numbers in a single character set. So you can see we have this string, Jenny string, and it's Jenny with some, some numbers after it. And then our expression, our regex, is forward forward slash square braces a through z zero through nine so it's looking for any combination of letters a through z and then it's looking for any numbers zero through nine and it's looking for any case so ignoring case a through z and globally so all matches so any letters a through z capital or lowercase and then any numbers zero through nine globally all characters right so not the g meaning all of them not just the first match that's what she does so that's the idea is that we can combine the hyphens of letters and numbers to grab you guessed it letters and numbers and everything we've learned up to this point we're going to just combine to i mean i think you can imagine how we could combine these to grab almost any uh type of string, right? Any string that contains almost anything at this point, as long as we know the general pattern of how it's going to look. So our, our job here is to create a single regex that matches a range of letters between H and S and a range of numbers between two and six. Remember to include the appropriate flags because we want to match all letters within this range and all numbers within this range. And I imagine we want to match them regardless of case. So let's do that. So we're just basically going to follow the same the same setup where we have some type of string and we're going to make a regex to match it and then we're going to make a result variable that's going to be equal to the match function call, the actual method call uh, of these two variables and our result will be the return data from that because result is equal to, it's assigned to be a function call it's not yet, but it will. So thusly, result is going to be equal to whatever that function returns. So to grab just h through s, once again, we know we can just take out this change here and put the square brackets. And whatever we put in here, it'll search for. So if we're looking through eight, looking for h through s, we could say h and start reciting the alphabet. But as we know, we can just say h dash s. So anything between h and s in the alphabet. And then also, we want the range two through not two through six. I'm sorry. So then two hyphen six, just like that. So as you can see, there's no need for spaces. There's no other syntax here. It's literally just the expressions, exactly as we've seen uh, Free Code Camp kind of demonstrate them for us. So don't let that confuse you. So boom. Now this expression will search for H through S, any of those letters, and any numbers two through six. But as of right now, this expression, this regex, will only find the first result of that, and only if it matches h through s lowercase, because that's what I put there. So I want to ignore case, so i, and then I also want to grab every potential match that's in a letter, h through s, or a number, 2 through 6. So i and g, or g and i. Either way, it doesn't work, right? The whole idea is that we just need these flags at the end for global. So we grab all matches and then I to ignore case. So we're grabbing any match regardless of uppercase or lowercase. And as of now, that looks like a good expression. This does look like it, it does what um, the prompt is asking. So it grabs letters H through S, that's what they wanted. And the numbers range two through six, two through six and oops. And as you can see, we did GI, so it's going to grab all of them and it's going to ignore case. Awesome. So now all we need to do is assign our result variable to be the return value of the match function, of the match method. So we know match, we take the string 
and we dot match the string against the regex. Okay, so the regex is the argument. The string is what we call the method on. So we can say quote sample dot match, and then we want to match against our regex expression. So my regex, and then once again, because this variable is assigned to be a function call or a method call, thusly, this variable is now equal to whatever this method returns, which as we know is going to be an array of any potential matches. So now if we console.log result, it will be whatever this return value is, right? It's going to be an array of those matches. So equals result. And yep, sure enough, it's an array of all the potential characters, not potential, all the matching characters that our regex found. So now if we run this, it should pass. And it does pass exactly because we did what they wanted, right? We found any character H through S, any number two through six, and we returned all of them and ignored case, found all of them matching regardless of case. So that's all we had to do for this one. This console log result, once again, I was just demonstrating that yes, result is now in fact an array it is the, the the return value of this function call because a function is equal to what it returns so all we had to do is that much and we got the pass so i hope that made sense i hope that helped if you guys do not understand what's going on here please leave a comment i would love to help um, the whole idea with free code camp is to understand what they're conveying to you not to just chase check marks because this is all very fundamental programming knowledge. So understanding is the important part. Getting the check mark is secondary. Hope that helped. See you guys in the next videos.